All right, welcome into Terrier Vision. We're with Coach Mike Ayers following the final scrimmage of fall camp. What did you see tonight? Uh, <laughs> saw some good, uh, saw some problems, and uh, but for the most part, they, there was more pluses than minuses. Uh, there's some young kids that, that are are making a push for a lot of playing time, and uh, I think our first uh, two groups are getting close. Uh, I think our seconds still have a ways to go, uh, but uh, we have some talent. Uh, what we've got to do is get it all put in one package and, and get things tightened up. Uh, I'm sure that our guys are, are tired of slugging it out against each <laughs> other. Uh, we had a practice this morning, then we had a scrimmage this evening. So it's been a long day for them, but uh, this is the last uh, official day of two a days. And uh, from here on out, we'll have a single practice and uh, work to get ready for PC. Nine days to go until the yep. opener. Is it pretty much now focusing on what the yeah. opposition does? Yeah, uh, th this scrimmage was basically structured uh, for a PC format as far as uh, their offense, their defense, their kicking game. So uh, in some spots we did really well and in some spots we didn't. So uh, <laughs> we, we've got some work to do, but it's great to get it on film. It'll be a great teaching tool, great learning tool for us. How important or, or how do you feel about game management, getting the right unit, the right personnel out at the right time? Well, we had some glitches. Uh, it, a lot of times what happens is you, you get some guys that that they're younger guys that you want to try to play in some situations and uh, for whatever reason they, they don't quite hear it as well as they need to they're not as in tuned as they need to be and uh, we we don't want to have to yell more than once for someone to get in the game or get out of the game and uh, in in uh, the scrimmage today we, we had uh, several situations where we just didn't do a good job of communicating are the guy you mentioned the guys are ready to hit somebody other than themselves i guess you go through this every year so yep. the next nine days how do you control the hitting keep people healthy but still keep them fresh well the the thing that that we've always tried to do uh, and and we found out over history that if we stay healthy if we finish the season with the guys that we start with we're making the playoffs and we're winning championships when we uh, had a lot of injuries uh, th that's when we've really struggled uh, for the next nine days what we're going to try to do is still work at a pretty good tempo uh, we're, we're not going to go full speed take them to the ground anymore it's just going to be a situation where we'll thud them up work on uh, body position work on uh, body balance and uh, get in a football position and play. Eric, uh, how does it feel to get out there and, and bang at least a little bit in the scrimmage? It feels good. You know, uh, we've had a good camp so far, and I'm excited about our offensive line and our team as a whole, man. They've just done a heck of a job so far, working real hard, and uh, I think we showed it out there in the first little bit. And then the next guys came in and did a great job as well. You mentioned uh, offensive line, four new starters this year. What's it like playing behind them, and what have they shown you in camp? They've really stepped up and done a heck of a job. Um, we got a couple leaders on there and some guys that have had some starts before, but now really making a solid start for the rest of the year. And uh, so I'm excited about them. They've done a great job so far. You look out there and, you know, they're handling it, handling the business. So uh, I'm excited about it. Nine days to go before PC. Can you, can you wait any longer? Can't wait. Just ready <laughs> to play football, ready to play against somebody else, tired of going against our defense, uh, ready to see some other, some other colors.